Hello everyone, Monty here. I just got done working out. I'm really hungry. I'm going to show you how I throw together um, a spaghetti squash and tomato sauce meal. You could use any kind of meat. Um, how easy it is. I already prepped the spaghetti squash. I just, um, I just seared some um, pork, uh, some very lean pork in a pan. Uh, six minutes on each side on a medium flame. Chopped it up a little bit and I'm going to show you how I throw it all together. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make one of my favorite meals. Okay guys, well I always start by sauteing some onion in a pan with a couple of quick sprays of extra virgin olive oil. And um, sometimes I put in some fresh garlic. I'm not gonna do that today. But um, it's nice and brown, a little, little brown cooked, the, green, the uh, red onion. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw in four ounces of pork loins. I put it all into my Lose It uh, application to calculate the points. And I'll just seal the, sear the pork, even though it's fully cooked, just to sear it even a little bit more. And then I'm gonna weigh, I'm gonna weigh my spaghetti squash, and I'm gonna do about 12 ounces. So I'm just gonna here, I, I zeroed out the scale. Let me move the camera a little bit. I zeroed out the scale, and I'm just going to dish it out. Twelve ounces is a lot of spaghetti squash. This is ten, and that's about twelve. There you go, right on the mark. Always important to weigh and measure when you're cooking. Now I'm going to throw the spaghetti squash in. Meat's all nice and seared and brown. I'd like to add a meat and get a protein. And seven, uh, four ounces of pork, which is four in here is about 28 grams of protein, which is great. There's seven grams of protein in, let me move the camera again. There's seven grams of protein in um, each ounce of meat and seafood. I forgot to get my little measuring cup. Very important to measure because I'm gonna measure a half cup of the Amir Glen tomato sauce which I know is exactly the right amount from doing this a long time. So half a cup, it's also 50 calories. Gonna throw that on top. I like to get every drop out. So good. I'm gonna throw in some spinach. I calculated about two cups. I won't even use that much, but it's not a lot of calories. I'm gonna start tossing it a little bit and you're really just trying to cook the spinach and heat up the spaghetti squash that has been in the refrigerator. So, gonna mix it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna add some more seasoning. I like a little bit more garlic. I like everything a little garlicky. I'm gonna put a little bit more sea salt in here. I like the pink Himalayan sea salt. And remember, I only had to sear the pork, and now I also have three more pieces of pork for the rest of the week. And I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper. It gives like sweet and spicy flavor to it. And basically when you're tossing this, when the spinach is all cooked, usually that's also the same time that all the, um, all the spaghetti squash is all hot. The pork was already cooked. I seared it a little more with the sauteed onion. That sauteed onion gives it a really nice taste. This is such a beautiful dish. There's so much nutrients. There's red onion. There's spinach, there's spaghetti squash, there's lean pork in here. It's the other white meat. And uh, a half a cup is really good because of the Muir, and the Muir Glen tomato sauce is all organic. It's just tomatoes and salt, organic tomatoes and salt. You can read the ingredients. There's no sugar, there's no bad things. And as I keep tossing this spinach, once it gets cooked, it'll all be done. And then I like plating everything, like either in a plate or a bowl. I think I'm gonna use a bowl tonight. And then we're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. I'll take a picture of that um, and post it after this video as well. But I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. The spinach is starting to get cooked. That tells me that the, mm, the spaghetti squash, nice fully cooked. This is so delicious, I can tell you. I made this dish for some neighbors the other night. Everybody ate two or three helpings. They're not watching their weight. They couldn't believe how good it was. And uh, they actually wanted to take some home. 
which I gave them a doggy bag. So, um, really good stuff. And so healthy, so nutritious. I feel so good about myself when I'm making something like this, that I made this beautiful food that's healthy and nutritious for me that's keeping me within my health and fitness goals. So we are done. I'm gonna plate it. It's such a big bowl of food for like 400 and something calories. I'll post all the calories when I take the picture of this, but this is such a beautiful dish. Let's just turn this off. I'll hold it up, but it's always hard to hold because the food starts to slide. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So delicious. Look at that. A gourmet meal with seared pork, lean pork, spinach, sauteed onion, and garlic powder, crushed red pepper, and um, sea salt. Delicious dish, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll